Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. This is KY4BDP Brian. Well, my next project is the GP3 2 meter 70 centimeter dual band antenna. The GP3 is about 5 feet 11 inches. I'm going to install it here on the back of my deck. I've been needing a better 2 meter antenna. I've been using a ladder line for our nets primarily when I'm not on Echolink. So this week, this is my next antenna project. And then hopefully I won't have any antenna projects for a while. Hopefully you've looked at our other video on the AV640 from High Gain. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to install the Comet GP-3 2 meter 70 centimeter dual band antenna. Alrighty, so we've got the parts set out now. Here's the actual Comet antenna. This is just shy of six feet long and then we've got the parts laid out. We've got the tube that goes on the bottom there on the left. We've got the radials there, top right. And we've got the uh, clamps, if you will, that's going to clamp to the aluminum tube once we have the antenna mounted in the aluminum tube and then to the mast. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start putting a lot of this together and then we'll bring you back and we'll show you with the uh, antenna put together. Then we'll put it on the mast and then we'll test it on tonight's net. Be right back. Alrighty, well, I'm back. So if we take a quick close up here, you can see where the radials just screw right in. There is a nut that is used to uh, fasten it or just make sure that it locks in place. And then you have these aluminum clamps that go around the aluminum part, which also affixes to the antenna. And then there are H clamps or U clamps, bolts, uh, that are ultimately going to connect to the mast, and I'll show that in the next sequence. And you also go ahead and feed your cable. So you can see I've already got my cable over here, and I've already got it fed into the tube. So all of that is ready. There's nothing on the top half of the antenna. All you have to do is just read the instructions, kind of put it together, orient those two brackets, those clamps and brackets, and you're good to go. So now it's time to put it on the actual mast, and I will bring you back. Okay, we're back. I've got it uh, connected or affixed to the mast away from the house a little bit, but uh, needed to keep it kind of out of sight at the same time. And I've got it connected at the moment to the deck with some temporary connectivity and definitely can, uh, temporary. I thought I had what I needed from my favorite home improvement store, but I did not. So I'm going to use a temporary setup to keep the pole affixed to the railing for now. And this will give me enough of an opportunity to test the connectivity at tonight's net. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and run the rest of the cable into the shack down below. And then I will see you while I'm talking on the net tonight, uh, utilizing the new Comet GP-3 dual band antenna. See you in a few. So for our last segment, we're going to check in with the net. Um, we're going to be testing out the antenna make sure that it's clear on my end. Now they have done some work actually on the antenna back at the repeater, so a little bit of help on both ends, but uh, uh, we shall see uh, how clear I am with the new setup and the Comet GP-3. We're ready to get started with our net as the final test for the Comet GP-3 dual band antenna, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Okay, maybe base stations we should check into the native KY4 BDP. Scooter Brown, KY4 BDP. Good evening, Brian. Well, good evening, Mr. Lloyd and everybody on the net. This is KY4 BDP. Uh, just hanging out here downstairs in my basement at uh, my shack and uh, installed a new antenna today. Got some videos. Uh, in fact, I'm cutting a video right now of testing out the antenna with the net tonight, so everybody will. Uh, well, maybe not everybody. It depends on how we cut the video. But uh, in any event, hopefully I'm coming through nice and clear and uh, just wanted to test out this new antenna, the Comet GP-3 dual band antenna. Just got back from Korea yesterday and uh, great. Uh, glad to be back in the U.S. So I'll be in the U.S. for the next several weeks. So this is KY4 BDP. Back to net control. Okay. 
So we've got everything set up. We were just on the net. So that's hitting the repeater. I didn't expect the repeater uh, to uh, reception to be bad at all. Uh, they've done some work on the repeater. You could tell it sounded really good. And my signal out to them was really good on the uh, FT400 uh, XDR. But that new antenna just sounds wonderful. Now we're gonna be testing out the simplex net here in about five minutes. Simplex nets are more difficult because the repeater is actually taken out of this net so that it's just us talking to one another without any of the tones or any uh, uh, offsets. So with simplex, normally I would have to be relayed in based on where I'm located and where net control bin is located. Uh, but tonight I can actually hear him pretty well. A little scratchy, but not bad at all. I can definitely hear him. So when he puts out the call, I'll come back to him and let him know that I hear him much better tonight than in nights previous. Oh, and in some cases, I'll be able to put out and say that I hear him, but uh, sometimes uh, he wouldn't hear me. KY4BDP. So I put out my call, but we'll see if Ben's able to hear me on his side. All right, let's hold it for a second, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, W. So he was able to hear me tonight, and that's the first. He's never been able to hear me before with my old ladder antenna. I didn't have much for two meters before, but this new Comet is really coming through nicely. Next on the list is KY4. Roger Ben, KK4JPX. This is KY4BDP for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association's Simplex Net, where no repeater is in use at this time, and we are simply uh, sending out calls for anybody who can hear the sound of my voice. If you can hear the sound of my voice, but you're unable to hear net control, Ben, KK4JPX, please call now. Roger K4WDL. Ben, we have one uh, to uh, relay into net tonight. K4WDL is able to hear me, but unable to hear you. So one to relay at this time, no others called out. I'll turn it back over to net control. This is KY4BDP. So that's our simplex net and it's a wonderful test uh, and I was excited to do it today because again normally I have to be relayed into Ben uh, and I would put out a call as well because he couldn't hear me uh, just to see if I could reach anybody on my side. Uh, tonight didn't uh, was able to pull in Wendell which was really cool because Wendell couldn't hear Ben very well and Ben definitely couldn't hear Wendell very well. So great test on the Comet GP-3 at my location, uh, crystal clear today on the normal uh, uh, weather net and the new simplex net. I want to close out the videos. Uh, Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association is looking for more members. Come join us. You don't have to be local. You can join us from anywhere in the country and anywhere in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click that notification bell. Let us know what you like about our channel. And uh, uh, the antennas are something that uh, KY4CKP, Chris and I, uh, have been doing a lot of because there's so many options out there, both for travel and a couple of antennas we've done recently for at your shack, or at least mine and Chris's. And we hope to be able to showcase some other uh, radio gear and antennas from some of our other members in future videos. Want to uh, wish everybody 73. This is KY4BDP, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.